So let's look at installing and configuring Samba. Now Samba is a Linux implementation of SMB, which is the foundation of Microsoft networking. So we'll use Samba a lot when we're operating in mixed network environments, where we've got both Linux and uh, and Windows systems. It also works with Mac and Unix systems as well. So <clears throat> it gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, now we're going to do a very simple Samba implementation. Now yeah, there's two components to it. There's Samba client, which is what we'll use to access shares on a Windows based system or any other system that's running Samba for that matter, or, uh, or and the SMB server or Samba server or SMBD as it's referred to in the uh, system CTL. So uh, we'll start by installing both of those components. So it's apt, let me get to the right screen here, apt install Samba. And yes, we want to install everything that's needed for it. Now we're going to do a very simple Samba implementation. We're not going to worry about Windows integration or anything like that. No integrated authentication. We're just going to use local user accounts and a local Samba account database. Um, so it'll be a very simple Samba implementation. Then we'll use a Samba client to connect back to the Samba server that we're running here. So let's finish off our server installation and then we'll do Clear the screen so we can see this a little bit easier. Apt install the SMB client. Okay, um, let's try that again with SMB client being one word. There we go, that looks better. Okay, so let's, before we get very far here, we need to make sure we have a directory that we can share. So do an ls-l forward slash and we'll just look at our root folder here and I want to pipe this to more and I have a folder here and you'll see it right here this folder right here it's called SMB data I've already created it it's a directory and I've given it wide open permissions which is not something that we would normally do but we're doing it just for a demo, so I'm okay with that. And then let's do ls-l forward slash SMB data, and we're going to see that we have a folder inside SMB data called SMB sample, and that's just so that when we connect to it, we can see something. All right, last thing we're going to do before we start our configuration is let's take a look at the status of the... SMBD or SMB daemon and you'll see here it's loaded but inactive which is great we don't want it active because we don't have it configured yet so our configuration is going to be in the forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash SMB dot conf file and here is a sample configuration and as you scroll through it you're going to see a bunch of documentation here which gives us a lot of good information on how to configure Samba. So I don't want to get rid of this. You can edit this file and change it to do whatever you want. I don't want to do that. I actually want to create a backup copy of that file. So I'm just going to rename it. So I'm going to use the mv command and we're going to move etc samba dot smb dot whoops forward slash smb.conf to etc samba smb.org to identify our original file. Now let's go ahead and edit the file. So edit a new file forward slash etc samba forward slash smb.conf. This should be a brand new file. Now this is going to be a pretty simple configuration. So let's go ahead and walk through it here real quick. So we're going to start with a square bracket and that we're going to set our headings off in those square brackets. So we're going to do global. This is going to be our global configuration. Several things are going to go here. We're going to set a server string and this is going to be the kind of the server description. We're just going to call this Samba File Server. And we'll see this when we're looking at the server in browse lists. Um, let's set a work group. SMB uses work groups. And you don't have to be in the same work group to communicate with each other, but browse lists are built off of work groups. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the Dalton.local work group. We're going to use set security 
we're going to use a local user account database so it's going to be security equals user and then we want to map to guest equals bad user so a guest user on our Linux system is going to be a bad user on the Samba system now that's our global config very very minimal global config there's a lot more that can go in here and more advanced Samba configurations but next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our Samba share and so it's going to be another square brackets and some people actually like to move these off into other um, other config files and just do an include in here and that kind of makes sense but since we're doing it fairly simple we'll go ahead and leave this as nice and easy so the path for the share and this is going to be the one we just looked at so the path equals forward slash smb data which is the folder that we created that's what's going to be shared we're going to set our valid users and this is going to be s smith is the user that we're going to use for this um if i wanted to add more than one i just put a space and i can add additional users as well i don't want this to be public so i'm going to say public no and writable yes which is going to allow s smith and anyone else i add to that uh, valid users to actually write data to it all right so i'm going to save this control o to write out control X to exit and then I want to restart my SMB service so it's system CTL uh, restart SMBD and that's our Samba daemon let's check and see if it worked system CTL status SMBD all right so we've got some little red text back here but it says it's finished loading and this is the key thing we're looking for is this now shows that it's active all right now I want to test this from another user account so I'm gonna switch control alt F2 to switch me over here and I'm gonna log in as S Smith ah, forgot one more thing back over here to F1 um, I also need to create a Samba password so we're gonna have our standard users and then we need to associate them with Samba users and give them Samba passwords as well and that's the SMB PASSWD command so I want to add user S Smith and I'm gonna give her a password and I'm gonna make it the same as a regular password but technically it doesn't have to be all right so that gets her set in now as a valid Samba user. And I have to do that if I'm using user level authentication, local user level authentication, I need to do that for every user that I want to have access to Samba. So let me control alt F2 and we log in here as S Smith. So I'm gonna issue the command Samba client dash L or SMB client forward slash forward slash and I'm just gonna view back against my own uh, system. So it's going to ask for S. Smith's password. And this would be the Samba password. And right here, I'm going to see that I have a Samba share called data. And that was, if you remember, Control Alt F1. Let's clear the screen to make this a little bit easier. Cat etc. Samba smb.conf that's defined by this block right here so control alt f2 and now I want to try to connect to it so it's going to be smb client local host and normally I'd put in the host that I'm going to but since I'm just looping back local host is fine forward slash data now if I want to do another user I do uh, slash capital U and I could set another user but since I've already I'm logged in as S Smith I'm gonna go ahead and just use her account I don't need to specify another user and now see right here I'm in Samba if I do my LS dash whoops LS there we go if I do my LS there I'm gonna see my SMB sample data all right so I have Samba up and running and I am connecting to it from a remote system KDIRS Smith LS we're gonna see that S Smith can now write we just added information control alt F1 back here to my root account on terminal 1 and I am going to LSL forward slash SMB 
be data, I think is what I called the folder. And there we go. We can see that Samba or that Samantha Smith has put in something via Samba. All right. So we are up and running to close that. Oh, question mark. We'll give you all of the commands that you can use here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. We'll log Samantha Smith off and our Samba server is up and running.